Hi friends. Now let me welcome you to the EQ episode of you know on eMedico's app. Every Wednesday we do a video where we discuss the MCQ and we try to give you the concept behind the multiple choice question and how to approach such questions. And I want to make sure that you all understand that whatever questions we are selecting here are the most high yield stuff and they are the most likely concepts which are usually asked in the exam. So I would like you to religiously wait for the every Wednesday for the EQ series and let, let us look at the radiology MCQ this today. Now the question that I have today for you is a 20 week antenatal scan and you see that the right kidney is enlarged with it has multiple large cyst varying size with um, random distribution there is no discernible renal tissue the left kidney appears normal what is the diagnosis and the choices are ARPCKD, medullary sponge kidney, multicystic dysplastic kidney, multiple simple cysts. Now number one thing to look at in this question is none, we are looking at an antenatal ultrasound. So we are looking at a disease which is usually diagnosed on an antenatal ultrasound not after birth. And the second thing is we are looking at something which is involving one kidney and the other kidney is normal and that rules out ARPCKD. Autosomal recessive polycystic kidney disease would be a bilateral disorder. When you see this on an antenatal ultrasound, you will find bo both the kidney will appear diffusely ecogenic. The, it would have cysts in the kidney, but the cyst will be so small that the ultrasound is usually not able to discern those cysts. And we are only able to see enlarged ecogenic kidneys with oligohydromnios. I hope you know if you have a bilateral renal disease, it will lead to oligohydromnios. So ARPCKD antenatally will show bilateral enlarged ecogenic kidneys with oligohydramnios written in the question we rule it out here medullary sponge kidney is often diagnosed at a later stage we will not look at it in the antenatal ultrasound and it will lead to dilatation of the collecting ducts and we all have studied you know in the past we talked about appearances like paint brush appearance or we have talked about uh, the bouquet of flower appearance that you see in medullary sponge kidney and that leads to medullary nephrocalcinosis. Now what happens in medullary sponge kidney is that the collecting ducts are dilated, they are actatic and that leads to some stone formation, the calcium formation in those ducts and that is seen as medullary nephrocalcinosis on a later time, not on an antenatal ultrasound. Here you have a unilateral cystic kidney with no renal tissue evident. Now if you notice in ARPCKD you will have renal tissue as well as cyst. Look at the choice number 3 and 4. Usually when we say multiple simple cyst we are usually talking about an old person. So in old people you have you know multiple cysts in the kidney it is possible to have simple cyst in an old person without any actually being of benign etiology it is possible. It is unlikely that you are looking at multiple cysts in the kidney and we are calling them simple cysts but then you should have renal parenchyma. Okay, here you don't even have renal parenchyma. So the answer that I feel here is multicystic dysplastic kidney. It is a developmental problem which occurs when the metanephros and mesonephros are fusing. If that fusion does not occur properly, that leads to uh, unilateral kidney which has now become dysplastic, which has become totally cystic with no renal tissue developing. And later on, if you do a MAC3 scan later on when the child is born, this kidney would be non-functional. This would have no function in it. And why you don't have oligohydromnios in this patient? Because it is unilateral. The other kidney is functioning. So multicystic dysplastic kidney is usually unilateral. It has no functional renal tissue. Multiple cysts in the kidney, scattered in the kidney, just like we see in the equation here. Now let me show you a image here. Now if you notice, I am, I am showing you this is how the antenatal ultrasound image of this patient would look like. You have multiple cysts and you saw them on the antenatal ultrasound. If I you know, take the liberty to show you here, this is your fetal spine and these are your multiple cysts in the kidney. Now the entire moral of the story here is what are the key things that help us to make a diagnosis? Number one is we are looking at an antenatal diagnosis. Number two, we are looking at unilateral involvement. Number three, there is no renal tissue in it. We are looking at multicystic dysplastic kidney. Developmental, usually unilateral. Now, an important question that comes to you in exams like PGI Chandigarh. Can you have bilateral multicystic dysplastic kidney? Answer is yes. 
it is possible to have bilateral multicystic dysplastic kidney but it is unusual it is possible but it is unusual because it is incompatible with life you know you will have bilateral multicystic dysplastic kidney in the antenatal ultrasound but when the child is born he has no functional renal tissue it is uh, incompatible with life and usually when i see such a patient on a antenatal ultrasound i would you know usually tell the uh, you know mother that you know you have a child where there is a disorder which is incompatible with future life so remember it is possible to have bilateral multicystic dysplastic kidneys on a antenatal ultrasound we can see that but it is a disorder which is incompatible with future life so i hope you are able to get the hang of the topic and how we have ruled out each of the topic in this question do follow us on the e medicos app and do you know keep religiously following this wednesday series that we have created you can also scroll back into the video section go to the bottom of the app you will see a section called as videos click it and you can see the previous eqs that we have done through the entire year and i would say even when you become a resident you know all these videos that we are creating would be of much help to you please you know follow them up and you know write to me in the comment section if you want to me to do any further things or you want you have any suggestions for future videos please put them in the comment section i look forward to hearing from you i wish you all the best thank you